Okay, here we are again in my RV and I'm about to get all these computers into my storage unit and I'll show you what I have here as I go along. I got everything from Macs to some old uh, XT machines or 286s and 386s, 486s, Pentiums. So a bunch of stuff. I also have some CRTs. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get started and as I load up the carts, I will uh, I will show you what I what I have. Okay, so this is the first stack, and as you can see, I have uh, some interesting computers here. Uh, these three in the bottom appear to be of the 386 era, maybe, and this one looks like a P3 or P4. I'll tell you why. Um, I really love this machine right here with the little uh, display and it has this little cover here that moves up and down so we got a tape drive a CD a floppy two more floppies here so this one is really interesting and the other ones I'm curious to see what's in there this one uh, it's a p4 like I said so let me see in the back here let me show you in the back uh, like I said this is like a p3 or p4 it's got a Wi-Fi sound card uh, VGA output and you know typical output here uh, it's got is that firewire yeah firewire so it's probably a p4 and uh, these are 386s or um, and they all have uh, sound cards this one has a sound card it's got a VGA card there uh, this one has VGA and uh, no sound interesting enough for that one the cool one has sound and it's got VGA and maybe EGA so this one might not be as new as I thought it would be but because uh, this graphics card has two outputs so maybe this is an older an older machine anyway kind of cool uh, let me open this one up since it has thumb screws and see what's inside just as a little spoiler. Okay, check it out. I was wrong. It's got an AMD Athlon uh, running at uh, 550 megahertz, looks like it. And I don't know what graphics card that is yet, but uh, and, uh, so I'm gonna save that for another video. But, uh, but yeah, nice little motherboard. And it's got a nice... Um, King Wing 450 watt power supply. Cool. It's got a hard drive. All right. Can't wait to to check out that one more in depth. Okay. So this is the second load from the RV, and I have uh, I brought one of the five little Mac Minis that I have, or Mac Classics that I have. Sorry, and some more retro machines, as well as one that is kind of modern, but still, you know, kind of retro. Uh, so we'll start here. This case, all, all I see inside is a power supply and motherboard, but this is a very desirable case. So you can see it has the, it has the, the, the nice um, L, uh, seven segment display here for the megahertz and it's got a cool little cornerstone computers uh, emblem. It's got the turbo button, reset, key lock, got, got a floppy, the nice that nice power button, Ooh, very nice, and this very, very sexy um, design here, which I love to, to allow some air inside the case. Uh, this is a, a very nice looking little gateway. It's one of those like multimedia computers. Uh, don't know the year that this came out, but uh, uh, we'll find out when I make another video. It's got card reader, it's got DVD burner, expansion slot, ooh, portable media drive bay. All this stuff, oh, and yeah, that closes. Uh, it's got an AMD Phenom, an ATI Radeon. I wonder if that's, if all that stuff is in there. It's got an 80, in 90 day AOL, risk free with trial. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, and on the bottom, I got another one of those cool cases with the LEDs. Uh, the seven segment display. I don't know if that has a seven segment underneath that. It'd be kind of cool if it did. 
and then a desktop case and uh, like I said my classic Macintosh classic don't know the model on this one but uh, and don't even know if they work but uh, from 1991 all right so let me go in the back here let me show you the rear of these guys like I said this one all I see is the the motherboard and I do I did peek that I inside and, and it does have the memory in it so that's good maybe it'll work uh, this one does have the ATI video card still in it so I'm um, kind of looking forward to seeing what that's what that's inside it's got the Vista sticker this one looks like it's uh, a 386 with VGA so that's good this one has VGA as well with a game port this this card might be interesting in there it's got a SCSI controller it's got a modem and a sound card and this one has video card and a couple of modems so it's interesting all right so that's the second uh, second batch so I put these inside maybe I'll open that one right now and take a look inside since it's it's kind of already open okay so oh no this one has the memory which isn't good it's got a power supply but they took out the CPU so I'll have to use a CPU from another machine to see if this motherboard actually works but at least you know I have some cache and some memory here and the battery doesn't look like it has uh, destroyed too much but that one is definitely starting to fall apart so I'll have to clean that one out okay so here I have a leaning edge I think this is a 8088 laptop uh, but I'll, I'll double check it could be a 3862 I don't remember right now I got this huge tower right here I got a Canon Star Rider 25 typewriter. I got some more of those cool cases. This is a, a, a desktop case. This is a HP Vectra 500 Pentium. This is a probably another Pentium. These are a little bit newer, except for this one. This is a probably a 3D6 still, and uh, this is probably a 3D6 as well. The other ones are a little bit newer. Their ATX. This is a HP Vectra, like I said, and this one has a an ATX motherboard. So, but look at this. This is an interesting power supply. Four a dish, four external power plugs for devices. That's kind of crazy, huh? Okay, so this is the next load. As you can see, I have uh, four of these Macintosh SEs. Uh, I don't know what the, what models they are. There's a Mac Classic an SC uh, and uh, two more SCs there uh, those, are, those are gonna be interesting to power up I have what looks to be uh, an 8088 down here a weird AT&T 386 workgroup server the WGS there's this really dirty box here with this hard drive in the bay here it's probably like an it's a Packer Bell it's a, never seen a Packer Bell with this case probably a 286 maybe or an 8088 there's this Dell uh, machine here uh, I have another strange one here from computer warehouse a Pentium 4 then I have this 1 gigahertz Pentium compact that's pro EN and then this one up here has a cool little Intel Pentium MMX uh, it's a Pentium 2 MMX in a small form factor. I don't think I I remember what a Pentium 2 looks like in a small form factor case because I thought the Pentium 2 was a slot based CPU but we'll find out when I open these up and in the back uh, let's see nothing too crazy on these this is like a like I said a very compact Pentium 2 and uh, that one has a TV tuner, that's the, the Dell. And the rest here, this one, I don't know, this one has seen better days. Probably wasn't, a, they were painting the place when this was in there. And this one has a 
Maybe that's a SCSI, but there's, there's a sound card there. This is the AT&T workgroup server with a sound card. And the last one down here, this is the 8088 looking machine, which probably has a CGA card right here. Yeah, so kind of cool mixture of stuff here. Kind of looking forward to seeing what's inside this little one because uh, it's kind of highly integrated. Doesn't have a oh yeah the sound cards are down uh, is up here. They really this is a really strange case. They have the holes for the headphones coming out. Cool. All right, so let me get these inside the storage and continue. And this is yet another pile. Uh, in this one, I have some compact desk pros. Looks like maybe 286s or 8088s. Uh, this is another 8088 maybe. That's a 386 probably. And these are parts. I don't know what this is. Let me see. So, oh, this is an Ethernet, uh, Ether hub, um, like probably 10 base T hub. This one, there's nothing in it, but there's a power supply. And I do have a power uh, motherboard that can go in there. This one, probably a 386, uh, or doesn't have a video card. That's okay. And this is a, a 386 probably, the VGA card on the motherboard. And these are the ones that I said were probably 8088s or, or 286s. Probably 8088s because this says black and white monitor. But yeah, big guys, big heavy guys with these massive power supplies. It's amazing how far we've gotten with these power supplies over the years. These were so underpowered and yet you needed all of this to power that. It'll be kind of cool to open these up and see what's going on inside. All right, let me put these inside the storage and continue. All right, this is the next stack and I have a Pentium 1 over here, 133 megahertz because the model number is like a, is a Dimension P133C. This is a Pentium 2, uh, 400 megahertz gateway. This one is a Pentium 3 Micron. Those are kind of cool, old school Microns. Another gateway, Pentium 3. And this one with an 8X CD, I have no idea what it is. It is from Delcor Interactives. And in the back, you got, you know, typical P3 setup. Um, probably that one has a nice sound card. Ooh, wonder what video card that has. Probably another one of those ATI uh, video cards, because that's a that's a Micron, which was I think the same case as a Dell, or similar. This looks like a Dimension Dell Dimension de box, and this one has a ton of per peripherals. It's got a mouse. I like how they used to label things: mouse, parallel, video, Wi-Fi. Probably that's probably not Wi-Fi. It's probably like an early wireless, some kind of radio antenna, because this is like a 386. It's got an Ethernet card uh, and uh, a sound card. That one's going to be an interesting one to check out. All right, so let me get these inside and keep on going, because I have a couple of more um, cartloads. Now in this batch, you can see a little bit more modern tech. These are really light aluminum cases. Uh, P4 series or so, Athlon 64s. So we'll start here with the beige stuff. This is probably like a 386. This is another 386. And this one is an AMD 64, an Athlon 64. That's gonna be an interesting one to see if the CPU is still working. Uh, now here, this is a P4, so definitely something newer, but nowadays it's, it's kind of, it's getting retro. This one, I have no idea what it is, but the case is kind of cool. It's got these little covers. Feels nice. There's a there's a drive in there. Yep, no drive on that one. I wonder if it even has a hard drive. And then there's this Celeron D. I think these were, these were um, overclockable, but I don't think this motherboard is gonna allow me to overclock. It's got an ATI Radeon Express 200, kind of a lousy card for the day. It's got a whopping 120 gig hard drive. 
and an Acceleron D352 with a combo drive and 512 megabytes of RAM. That'll run Windows XP pretty well. What else do we have? Now let's take a look at the back. Yeah, this one's kind of beat up there. And uh, nothing, nothing too fancy. This one is, everything is on the motherboard. So I'll, I'm not expecting too much from that one. Looks like they had a video card or something that was removed. And this one, like I said, is a 3D6. Lisa has a sound card and a VGA output. This one down here, yeah, it looks like it has VGA. No sound card on that one, but it has a network card, Ethernet network card, probably one of the, a 16-bit card. And this one has a probably a PCI card, but why would maybe that's a Sound Blaster Audigy? Because it does have onboard audio. They just probably upgraded it. Uh, this one, oh, that's definitely a Sound Blaster with the gold connections there. So yeah, it's gonna be cool to see what these are inside as well so all right let me get these inside I'm starting to run out of room here but we'll uh, continue and i think i have one last load and then we're done Ta-da! so i finished putting these inside storage and i'm really looking forward to checking out each and every one of these in a future video i'm going to be tearing each one apart taking a look at the motherboard in detail, taking a look at the case, all the peripherals, and uh, and making them work. And I'm gonna be recording the process as I go around, along. Sorry that the lighting here is not that great. I'm using these LED lights, but it's, uh, it's not great when I get in here. Um, but yeah, got a stacks and stacks of 386s, 286s, um, Pentiums, and some weird, and some Macs and uh it's gonna be good it's gonna be great just stay tuned if you're not a subscriber uh please subscribe and uh hit the up the like button on the, on this video and others that you watch because that really helps me out and uh stay tuned for some great content with all of these old computers i don't know i don't know what i should start with let me know in the comments if you think that a but I should start with one in particular. I'm just gonna start grabbing from the stack and uh, and, uh, and and start with whatever is easy to, is easy to start with. So just uh, let me know what you think. And if you like this video, like I said, subscribe because more is coming. Till next time.